Art is everything. The art brings an entire different atmosphere to the school. Rather than walking in and seeing brick walls, you see real professional art and paintings and sculptures all over the walls. I find it inspiring and it gives me a different perspective on different kinds of artists and the way they like to do their art. When you come to school, you expect seeing like these blank brick walls, but we get to come in and see an entire gallery of art. The National School Art Collective is a 501c3 nonprofit organization whose mission is to help schools establish their own professional art collections that are selected and purchased by the students. It adds a, bit, a little bit of joy um, to my day to see these pieces of art because sometimes I might be a little upset from a test or might have been really stressed day, from day to day, but sometimes I would occasionally just stop by and look at these pieces and then think about maybe just dive into that, that world of art and just the passion that some people put into it. Having a collection in a high school is exciting not only for the students but also for the community, especially when the community doesn't have a gallery and um, it brings all kinds, all walks of people together uh, in support of the students, in support of the artists, in support of the community. It's an opportunity to build culture. I think the real benefit for schools to get involved in the National School Art Collective is the humane environment that it creates. It helps students to respect the artwork, certainly, but also to respect one another and the, the daily interactions in a campus. It provides that real serious feeling of being involved in school, of you know the, the way to act in a gallery. Um, and it does really raise um, expectations of themselves, um, learning to respect the pieces, learning to respect one another. Um, and it creates that home feeling uh, you know, that they, they, it all belongs together for them. In many communities, this is the closest thing they'll ever have to a fine arts museum. I, I do have two artworks that were purchased by a high school um, for their art collection. And I really like having my work out in front of so many eyes that would not necessarily see the work in other settings. Um, these might be you know, kids that wouldn't go to a museum or to an art gallery for whatever reason. Either they never get over there or um, it's intimidating. I know that sometimes those situations can be or, you know, they may have just not ever even felt the interest. They may think art isn't for them. And by having it in a high school, it's right in their setting where it's accessible to them. And, well, first of all, they can't help but look at it. But then again, I also hope they want to look at it. If you're considering becoming part of the National School Art Collective, begin with something. No one gets to everything immediately, but even if it was one piece a year that was added, the focal point and the collaboration that comes together, I mean, these are not only 21st century workforce skills that we're trying to develop in students, but it's a great modeling of how teachers, students, community, and in this case, the National School Art Collective, work together to create something that by themselves or alone, not one of them would necessarily be able to do. I think every school would benefit from having the National School Art Collective come in and help them begin a program like ours simply because um, it gets people talking. It gets the teachers talking. It gets the students talking. Um, it changes the nature of the, the hallways. It changes the culture of the school, ultimately. Um, to have students take ownership of their hallways in a positive way. <laughs> Starting an art collective will take not only a lot of work, but a lot of people um, to become engaged in the process. Uh, usually an administrator, a teacher, a group of students, um, support by a parent-teacher organization. Uh, there are a number of, of people within the greater school community that can help. Getting them to be engaged is a key 
the key element in making it work. And those individuals that are excited about starting this need to look into their network and try to um, get those people involved as early as possible because the more that are out there to help, the easier the process becomes. Um, to a school that's considering starting an art collection, I would say do it yesterday. You'll, you'll never regret it. It'll be the best thing you've done. The best way to help us with our mission is to go to nationalschoolartcollective.org and make a donation today.